Yes, all my little DP children back in UE4 with the Minecraft 11th with 11th Minecraft tutorial. We're going to talk about more terrain generation issues. A third part of the terrain generation. We had a little height today. We had a little height. We got a little icon screen down here. We had a little height. But there's a couple things I want to change today. I want to talk about that. We're going to change a couple things. So let's get started. I got a little terrain build here. Y'all know we got the H the H1N1 or whatever it is we got over here. But the point is, I want to I want to talk to you about something real quick before we go any further. If you're if you're creating a terrain, you're going to be here changing your values to like one hundred and uh, we'll set it to uh, let's set it to two hundred. Set that one big. But you notice that you have a little bit of a flat line over here. If you notice, you're getting this. Like one side looks all nice, right? The other side a real nice. But then you go here and it's like well, it's kind of flat line. And you got another little flat line. And I'm saying, well, I'm gonna talk to you about that right now. We're gonna open this bad baby up. This might be it. I don't know. Let's double click and open it again. Now I got everything set up the way we did it again. If you haven't followed the other the previous tutorials, I really recommend it for anybody who's just jumping in here. There is this is the 11th tutorial, so you got a lot to learn. But the point is, we got our Z and stuff here. The thing is, what we're doing is drawing our length from zero to whatever width or length is, and that's actually the issue. Watch what happens if I set this to like the number five. I'm gonna set these. I'm gonna set these bad bebes to the number five. It's gonna take a second to compile because I've got a 14 billion blocks but do you notice now that that line is gone honey do you notice that the line is gone bro now you can play with that number you can decide however you want to do it you may still get some weirdness based off what's going on but it is just something you can do and what you can do is to make sure the math is correct because that may sound funny is what you can do here you can go right here you can get a little, uh, get a little subtraction sign integer minus integer right and we can do is you should subtract whatever that number is so we'll subtract five for now and that's what i'm going to do you know and, and again feel free to do that however you want so i'm going to control c control v and i'm going to take width and i'm going to plug width into the subtract as well and plug it in and boom so now now what I'm doing is that, and again, that way it just, the math is right. That way if I set it to be two by two, it's actually two blocks instead of negative three. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't go from five to one. It doesn't make any sense, bro. It'd be backwards. But I mean, I'm not saying that wouldn't be something you might want to do later, but we'll, we'll talk about that because we're going to end up changing a lot of stuff. And, and overall, like I said, guys, things may change as we do them because I'm learning things as I teach you. Now, let's get started. Let's get started on it, bro. We got to add a little height. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to tell you right now, before, if, if you remember everything we did here, we did the length and the width. And then down here, we got the whole, the action set up here for the Z, right? We got the H1N1. That's what I've been calling it. But if it's actually the frequency and the height, right? But the frequency and the height three different times, that way we can adjust it a certain way and kind of toy with it and get down with it. Oh, God. If you if you set the height too high, it'll break. It'll broken. It'll it'll broken on you, bro. So you can't, you, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Got to be more careful. Okay, light. Nice. I like what I did there, bro. I'm gonna set these to I'm gonna set it to 150 and 150. I mean, we got a pretty random terrain there, a little mathematical nonsense. Now, the point is we need to add some height, and I'm going to tell you right now, we need to add another for loop. You know what I'm saying? We need to add that and plug this in here, right? But we're going to need another variable, and I'm actually going to set this one to be zero. We're not worried about what's going on here, but we are going to need another variable. And I'm going to name it... I'm going to name it height, bro, because that's what it is. And it's going to be an integer, right? We got that. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to bring that integer up here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to drag it where it's in the right spot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Drag it under width. You know, I'm going to bring width above, 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 up above it, bro. Up above it. Length, width, and height. And we can plug height in that right draw. You know what I'm saying? So now we're, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do that. Grab the, grab the height. Now, the thing is, we want to do the same thing. Make sure you grab the little yellow butt because we're going to be able to change the height regular, regularly. Now, the point is what we need to do, since we've done some Z stuff, we're going to need to add whatever we're doing here into that. So we want to make sure that we multiply this value by the tile size like we did before. So I know we got a lot of wires going here, but we're multiplying the length and the width times the tile size. Well, let's go ahead and get ready to do that again. We don't need the tile size because we're going to plug the tile size that we already got into the bottom. We're going to plug this new height that we have into the top. But what we need to do is we need to add this to what's going on here. We need to, here's, our, here's our big mess of stuff and it comes up here and it's converted into a uh, a, a float so we can plug it into the Z. Well, we need to add these two together before we do that. So you may need to just drag a line off here and find your little, find your little plus button, bro. Find your little, oh, wait, wait, that's not it. There it is. Boom, I found you. I found you, bro. What we can do is just plug this in here, add these two together. So you're adding this this, this thing we already have, and we're adding the fact that we can control the Z-axis now as well when it comes to building blocks up and down on the Z-axis, and we'll plug that into our converter. 
That's all we did. Now I know that look a little, little, little tricky. A little, 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 little tricky for you. We got a mess going on here, but let's just go look at it, okay? Because right now height is set to zero, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if height is set to zero, there's not gonna be anything, right? Because because we got to make sure that, and it gets worse. It gets worse. I'm gonna tell you why we don't have anything to set this back to zero, so I don't break anything. It gets worse because if you don't plug it in, you know, if if you don't execution wire, if you don't if you don't plug in the execution wire, bro, you're not you're not gonna get anything. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right, so anyway, let's go here. Let's go to our height. Let's set it's set to zero. Right, that's fine. Now remember, zero is the first one. So actually at zero, there isn't going to be but the one line. And again, feel free to set that to one and set this to height minus one or height whatever, whatever you want to do. But the point is now if I go to height and I press uh, the number two, we press number two and see what happens. Oh snap. Did you see what happened there, bro? Did you see? We got a couple. We got let's make it a little smaller, bro. Let's not overwhelm the computer. I mean, I'm rocking a 2080 super. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to break everything. The point is, let's look at the height, bro. Set, see if we can set it up here. Set the head, set the head the, the, set the height to five, bro. Set it to five. Get five of them. Don't be scared. Five. Twelve. Now, anyway, the point is we have all kind of height, and that's what we're wanting to work with. And I can't set it to 12. Because I'm not scared of setting it to 12. And as you can tell, it's making the terrain move up. Again, like it's actually coming. Coming up, and I'm pointing to the screen because if I set it to 20, you're gonna know that it's way up there, bro. It's gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about a couple issues though that we have now that we have the height. You know what I'm saying? Now all it's doing is adding height to that noise, which is fine for now. You know, it's, it's, it's a learning curve. We're all trying to get this together, so give me a break and shoot, and give me a break of that Kit Kat. Now the thing is, we are having grass blocks under dirt blocks. And I ain't gonna lie, that's not really doing it for me. Let's set it to uh no, let's set it to five. We got a little Got a little money. Got you a little cash on my money. Now we'll go over here, and what we need to do is we need to tell this computer that we want the top layer to be grass, but we don't want the bottom layer to be to be grass. And if you notice now, this whole thing where, like, cause watch, just check out my check out the top of my terrain. Let's set the height back down to one or zero. Let's set the height back down to zero. Well, well maybe, maybe can I set it to? Can you can you work for me, bro? Can you set? You'll notice that I have a little bit of that brown, a little bit of that dirt from where we set up our thing, but it's not working anymore. Where we're adding height, you'll notice that. So we're gonna have to fix that too. I'm just letting you know. Don't worry, bro. We got stuff to do. Let's set it on five. Set it on five. Don't be scared. I got 75 by 75 times five. Then we got our we got our tile size because we ain't scared of it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. All right, we're gonna talk about clamping. We're gonna talk about clamping in our next tutorial. So we don't break everything. Now let's let's, let's make sure we're good here. Now check it out. We got our height. What we want to do is we're gonna add a add a little ask a little question. So let's branch. Let's branch it out. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get rid of this branch at the moment. Actually, let's just let's plug it straight in. Now, what we want to do is we want to see if this is equal to height. That's what's going on there. So we're gonna drag it over. We're gonna drag a little line, find a little equal. Is it equal to height? Okay, yeah, that's that's the first question. Is it equal to height? Because if it's equal to height, I want it to be grass. You know, I definitely want it to be grass. You know what I'm saying? But it's false. But if it's false, I, if, it, if it's false, I need to check the rest of this nonsense. But it, but if it's but if actually that's not even that, that that's not even true. If it's true, I want to check. If it's true, I want it to be grass every time, and I want it to check to see what's going on. But if it's false, if it's not equal to height, I need it to be dirt every time, bro. So what we'll do, I'm going to drag this up here a little bit and just take false and plug it right into that. You know what I'm saying? Because now we don't want any of them underneath the grass. If it's not set to height, which is actually like height times this mess, we need it to be dirt, bro. So let's check it and see if that, was, see if it's, have, have, is that working for me. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Is that working? You see it's working. You see how that worked for you? You got the grass on the top. You got the dirt on the bottom layer. So if you could dig through the terrain, which we can't do yet because the next tutorial is going to teach you how to delete blocks. Literally the next one that comes out in three days. Well, Tuesday or Wednesday. The point is, if you could tell now, we don't have a bunch of grass blocks. And if I change the height to maybe like 12, you know what I'm saying? Set it up to 12. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's all right. You see? We're going to talk about clamping in the next tutorial because you don't want to accidentally set it too high and it frees your computer and then you can't reopen your project and everything's gone. <laughs> All of it. Everything's gone. Because I've never done that. Because I've never done that. Okay. So anyway, so we got the dirt. The point is we got the dirt now. We got, you see what I'm doing? It's pretty cool. And we, got, we can set the height a little bit. And now we don't have that issue. Now pay attention to what I did. All I did was take the height, make sure it's equal to this top one, right? And I, since we're doing all this mathematical nonsense and it's added to it here, 
It's added to this. We added it all together, and it's multiplied by tile size, just like, just like the length and the width. Don't let this new stuff fool you. That's all we did. We can now make sure that if it is not equal to height, it is always dirt. Now, here's our other problem. The, 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 the other issue here is this is set to be zero or whatever. We need a value. We need this to be a value so we can change this. You know what I mean? And we're going we're gonna to create a new variable, and we're going to name it uh, dirt. Let's name it. Let's check it out. Let's name it dirt floor. Okay, let's we'll name it dirt floor. That's what's going on there, bro. And it's gonna be an integer. And I'm gonna set it up here with my height. I'm gonna set it up. Hey, bro, where'd you where'd you go, bro? What is that variable? Blocks, bro. Don't pay attention to that one. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Take dirt floor, move it up here a little bit. Bring it up maybe below below height. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going there. I don't know. I, I don't know why that's there. It's kind of scaring me now because I don't remember. But anyway, the point is, what we want to do is we want to be able to set that dirt floor on our own and over here in our variables. We want to be able to decide ourselves where we want it to be and not affect the bottom. Okay, so that's what we want to do. Instead of it just being, we want to have more control over it. So let's make sure we got our yellow 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 dot. And let's compile that, make sure we got a little dirt floor, and here's how we want to do that. We want to make sure this other, that what happens is, if it is grass, if, it's, if it is the height, then we're checking to see if it's equal to this value. Well, what we actually want to do is we want to see if it's equal to this value times tile size. Dirt times tile size. Now, remember, think about that. So what it's going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to ask it. And we could make this a, uh, we could make this a, um, Actually, that's fine. We do need to take that value right there to see if it's less than. So we're going to take dirt floor. Get that. Let's multiply it by the tile size. So you can get you can control C, control V, that bad baby moving right there. You know what I'm saying? Take these two, multiply them, and then plug it in there and do a little conversion. Okay, we got a little. So now we have a little bit more of a, a, a little bit more of an equation right here. And, and again, we're making a mess. You know, we're, we're making a mess. It's a bit broken. It looks terrible. We gotta we gotta we gotta fix some stuff because we're we're it's 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 just becoming a nightmare. I'm trying to move everything around here. And again, you know, I'm not extremely organized at the moment. But the point is now after we check and see if it's going to be the top layer. That's basically just ask all we're seeing here is it the top layer is it equal to height it is it is because if it's not we don't care it's gonna be dirt but if it is let's check and see if we if uh, you know us if we like where it's at you know we, we got a lot of stuff to do so let's think about this let's see what happens here and let's go from there because what we'll probably end up doing is subtracting this value by height and the reason is is because height as you can tell if we go here and we set the height to be two the whole terrain drops that's just how we got it coded right now if i can make it if i can make it work oh it is set to two bro oh god oh god i keep doing it i don't want to do it anymore and i'm sorry and i didn't mean to but now we have a dirt floor now what happens is if i set this dirt floor to five you can see, okay, you see that? You see that? You see, uh, you see dirt floor to seven? Okay, well, check it out. We, it's kind of working. You know, this is kind of, it's kind of set it to 12. Okay, okay, it's definitely working the way we want it to. But if you can tell, if I put it down here to zero or even like two, it's way out. You know what I'm saying? It's way out. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work there. So let's set it back to zero. Let's set it back to zero. We're just getting our terrain working a little bit, okay? And what we want to do is we want to take this equation we have here, and we want to make sure before we multiply it by tile size that we subtract height, okay? So let's uh let's do that number. Let's do that number right there. Let's grab height. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's grab it, bring it over here, and let's subtract it. Now, now, now I know you're probably thinking, bro, what in the sh boy in the what in the balls are you doing? Like what is happening? We're taking the so floor, the, the minusing the height. So now it might be a negative number, but that's because zero may we may want zero to look normal. You know what I'm saying? Like you want zero to look normal based on what's going on. Let's let's just look at it. Check it out. All right, what's it set to? It's set to zero, I think. Let's set it to two. Let's set it to two. See what we're doing. It doesn't look good. Let's set it to zero. Okay. It doesn't look good. Let's set it back. To, let's set it up to five. Okay. Not working. Let's set it way up. Let's set, or let's set it to uh, 25. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. Let's set it to 12. Okay. Cool. It worked. Now let's go set the height down to one. Okay. Actually, let's set our height to zero. Okay. So let's go back. Let's set our height to zero and let's set our dirt floor to zero and everything looks normal. You know what I'm saying? But if I set this to one, okay, it does that. And if I set it to two, it does that. So it's set to zero. Okay. That's cool. Now let's set our height to one. Now you notice it didn't fix it. It didn't fix it at all. So let's go back and see what's going on. We're taking dirt floor and we're subtracting height and then multiplying that value by tile size. But what we actually wanted to do is take dirt floor and add it to height. So I replaced that real quick while y'all weren't looking. But the point is you needed to add it and I apologize. I freaked out. So do not subtract height from your dirt floor, bro. That actually doesn't make any sense if you think about it. You need the dirt floor to go up with the height. I don't know why I made you do that. And I'm sorry. Now let's 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 check it out. Let's just see if it works here. Okay, we got we got we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put up on Hundy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm getting a little 
cool. I'm getting a little brave. Okay, we got the height set to zero and the dirt set to zero. That's cool. Let's set the dirt to two. Okay, it goes up. That's nice. Okay, that's, that's nice. But what's cool is you can set it to negative one. Okay, it drops for you. It drops for you. That's cool. We got a little control. Now let's keep it at zero. Let's set the height to five. We'll do it. Oh, oh, snap. You see how the dirt came up with it, bro? You see how the dirt came up with it perfectly? Let's set the dirt to two. Okay, set it up to about right there. Let's set this. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. Let's set the dirt to two right there. Now, if I drop it back to three, it should stay the same. But the all oh, snap, the height dropped. You could see that even under the grass or the dirt, we still have all the dirt underneath. It's not like we have grass under dirt and grass just randomly spawning down there. The point is now I can set my height up to about seven. You know what I'm saying? And then I can change the dirt floor. And again, I'm spawning tons and tons of blocks at this point, 70,000 or something. So I'm going over to the tile size, or, or sorry, the, the dirt floor and setting it to two. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait a minute. It was already set to two. I'm setting it to zero. I'm setting it back down to zero here to see what it looks like normally. You know what I'm saying? Now what's cool is I can set it to negative two if I want more grass, right? Drop it down a little bit, mer, or I can set it up to five. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I do? What did I do? I set it, I set it to something I'm not supposed to. Guys, in the next tutorial, or, or, or soon, I'm going to talk to y'all about, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all about, uh, Oh, God. Oh, God. See, I just did it again. I just did it again, bro. I'm going to talk to you all about clamping your values because I'm going to tell you right now, that's going to be a boo-boo. All you need to do right here is go to length and set it to 45,000, and there's a small chance that your computer will explode. And then, it, and then it's all my fault. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be responsible for that. That's just not something I'm into. So, guys, the point is you got yourself a little bit of a terrain, more, a more terrain here. We got some dirt underneath our dirt. We got some dirt underneath our grass. We got a dirt floor we can, we can raise and set now. And it didn't take a lot more code. The point is, we're trying to do this with the smallest amount of code possible. Again, feel free to clean this up. I would honestly set all these bad babies over here like this. Let's get all our four loops together. And then we have our everything multiplying all three of our variables by, by tile size. We got our entire setup here, which is our, uh, which is our uh, I don't know what you would call this, but this is, our, this is our noise, bro. This is our mathematical noise we created. We add them together here. And then we have a couple questions. We got our one question here. We got our second question here. And then, boom, we got our ending right here. So, I mean, yeah, I've got it all straightened out a little bit. It looks a little better. But you still got stuff running around everywhere. It don't make no sense sometimes. I hope it made sense. I hope you guys have any questions. Holler at me. I hope you guys figure it out. But if you don't have any questions, holler at me. Any guy, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Joshua to Pride Productions and 11th Minecraft tutorial. And we're deep in it. We're deep. We're so deep. You know what I'm saying? We just keep deep, getting deeper. It's just going to keep. You got to just deep in it. You got to just deep all over the place, bro. That's what I've been deeping. But, guys, thanks again. Appreciate you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our other tutorials if you haven't. Um, we got a 12th tutorial coming up. In just a few days another minecraft one that's right because we got to talk about deleting blocks i'm gonna tell you right now it is not as simple as you'd think so we're actually going to make a part two and a part three and a part four we are going to be removing blocks in the next tutorial but it's a little tricky and it's not really as resourceful as we want it to be it's not at all and that's what we need to talk about so we're going to discuss it i'm going to show you what i figured out so far but i'm going to show you where we need to be we have work to do we need to start working on endless terrain we need to start working on spawning chunks and while we walk and we get further away we have more of the terrain uh, creating itself based Based off the mathematical noise we created, we got a lot of work to do. And of course, we got more, you know, HUD stuff, you know, because because if you jump in here, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I jump in here in the Alt-P, you know, and say, oh, God, oh, no, it didn't work, guys. Don't worry about it. The point is, if 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 I were to move my guy over, because I'm obviously here on the corner, move, move him over a little bit, bro, get over here. Don't be so scared of him, you know what I mean? Have fun. The, the, the point is, if, if we got we got our we got our tiles here, right? We got our stuff set up. We got our we got our we got our HUD. We got a couple blocks. You know what I'm saying? We're doing we're doing big things. But now the cool thing is we need to be able to remove these blocks because we want to go underground, right? We need to, let's build some tunnels. Let's play Minecraft. You know what I'm saying? We was probably that we're going to talk about lighting and set up stuff like that and get some torches going soon and build some trees. We are definitely getting ready to start talking about how we can spawn trees. I definitely am going to show you guys that soon. They will be mathematically done with a for loop as well. But we are going to start talking about spawning trees and the trees will only spawn on the grass layer and not on the dirt layer. We already got that figured out. We're going to show you how to do that soon as well. So guys, again, thanks for watching. Josh here with Deprived Productions. Love you, miss you. Peace!